Silver Bow County Sheriff, widely known for surviving a car bomb, passed away this week. MTN's John Amy takes us back almost 30 years when that accident was caught on video. Butte Law Enforcement is honoring the memory of former Butte Sheriff Bob Butorovich, who died this week. Butorovich became known around the world in a widely circulated video as the man who survived a car bombing in Butte more than 30 years ago. It was on December 20th, 1989, when Terry Rosslin rigged his car with explosives and had a standoff with police at the intersection of Montana and Broadway. Officers remember Butorovich's bravery that day. You know, he, he went up to that vehicle thinking he could solve the problem and the, the male inside that vehicle exploded the car and he was right, he was around the front lines of that. Former police officer Dan Hollis was with Butorovich the day he was blown up and remembers how he kept his composure. His clothes were on fire when he was trying to, to you know, to get his jacket off and, and, and uh, but he was still trying to get Terry under control at that point, but he just didn't know exactly where Terry was at that point because he was a little uh, disoriented also because of the explosion. Amazingly, Butorovich was not seriously injured. Went to the hospital, got checked out, and was back on back on duty. He never, uh, he never, you know, took a day off or anything like that. He was just a, again, he was dedicated to the citizen of Butte. The incident involving Sheriff Butorovich happened at this intersection more than 30 years ago, and it's still studied by law enforcement today, and has changed their tactics greatly. We did a, a an after action report uh, to to review our actions and see where things could be improved. And, uh, and what other uh, different protocols we could put in place uh, because of this incident. Officers who knew him won't forget his legacy. He was um, just a, a sheriff that cared about people. You know, just a, was a nice guy, great big monster of a guy, if you ever met him. But he was, I mean, I think he had, uh, in his heart, he had the people of Butte first. In Butte, John Amy, MTN News.